Hey guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to export a walkthrough to present the model, so let's say, to our clients or to our team members. Okay, so we're going to learn how to export a walkthrough to a video file, specifically a VI file, okay? But you can actually export a walkthrough as a series of uh, images or photos, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to export this as a video file. Okay, so to start, so let's go to the walkthrough view. So let's move to our slider. Let's look our walkthrough here. Fly into the building. Okay, now I'm going to select our camera here for our walkthrough. And then after that, so let me just show you some settings that you can do before you export this walkthrough. Okay, so select the camera and then let's just go to the instance property so here so we know this already that you can modify the the fire clip offset you can change that one and then you can go to the rendering settings okay so if you have a capable computer or laptop you can go to the rendering settings and then you can set the quality here so instead of draft you can make it medium high best or even custom or you can also select here edit okay if you want to do that so for this one if you just want to see a preview of your walkthrough so it is better to use a draft setting only so that at least you'll be having an idea how your walkthrough will gonna be uh, look like as the camera moves around the building Okay, so for you to be able to have your laptop render the model uh, fast, so you just set it on the draft setting. Okay, so aside from that, you can also specify here the lighting. Okay, so you just select any of the settings here, and then you can also specify the uh, sun settings and then the background and also the exposure of the image. Okay, so another thing that you can modify here is that you can change here the visual style as well so you can make that realistic if you want and let's see how it looks like so my laptop is not that fast so that's why it takes a few seconds to a minute <laughs> to change the visual style to realistic so this is now how it looks like okay now you can also specify here the number of frames of your walkthrough so you can click that and then you can specify here the total frames so the higher the total frames the smoother your walkthrough but okay on the other hand what will happen is it will take a lot of time to render okay or to finish up the walkthrough processing of your model okay so that's why for this exercise, I'll just leave it as uh, 300 frames. And then you can also specify here frames per second. Okay, so you can change that to uh, 30 if you want or just leave it as a 15. Okay, so this is more uh, easier for me to be able to finish the rendering process of my walkthrough. Okay, and then you can also specify here uh, uniform speed but for this one I will just uh, lower down the last few keyframes as the walkthrough moves towards the end of the video I want that to be a little slower so let's say for example I'm just gonna make this uh, 0.3 okay this one as well 0.3 that's it and then I'll just select here okay and after that, if you are now ready to uh, export your walkthrough to an AVI, so what you do is just go to the file and then uh, click this arrow down here. Oops, sorry. Look for the export and then click this arrow down here. And then you can now see their images and animations. And then you can now see there your walkthrough. Okay, just click the walkthrough. And then you will now be going to the length format okay so for the output length i'll just select here all frames 
okay and then you can specify here the format so it's already on the realistic and edges because i already changed it here okay so if your computer is good you can just leave it as a uh, realistic with edges or you can use a rendering settings here to make your walkthrough more beautiful but then again i remember that my laptop is not that good so i'm just gonna select here just shaded view that's enough for me and then you can specify here the dimensions and also the zoom to uh, percentage of actual size so i'll just leave it as 100 and then if you want to include the time and date stamp you just need to check this one for me i'm not gonna include that so i'll just select here okay so that's it and then you now have here the export walkthrough dialog box so you can select here the file subtype uh, jpeg or photos or gif png whatever so i'm just gonna select here abi files and then you can go to the options you, you will be able to go back again to the length and format so once done just select ok and then uh, just save your animation so just name it and then after that save and then after that there is another dialog box that will appear the video compression so you have here a few codecs and then the microsoft video one so what i'm gonna do i'll just select here full frames and compress okay and then i'll just select your okay and then the rendering will now start okay so it's 300 frames so that's why it will take some time for the walkthrough to be finished especially if you are going to increase the number of uh total number of frames so currently we are just using the default 300 okay so let's wait for this one so this is how it looks like and then uh, let's see how it looks like how uh, after this one got exported to avi okay again so before this uh, finish i would like to invite you to visit also my rumble channel so all you have to do is to google your use your google and then go to your uh, rumble channel this one and then after that look for revit tv okay just search that you can search here you can type revit okay and then you will not be able to see me there so i am the only one who's doing revit here so i have uploaded all the examination uh, review in this uh, rumble channel so if you want to uh, check out those examination videos you can go search and follow my rumble channel which is uh, learning with rich and you can also follow revit tv okay so let me just minimize this and we are now done there you go so we are now done with our exportings and let's see how it looks like okay so let me just play it so where is that animation Mm, let me change the list all right so here's the one i'm gonna play now okay so this is now how it looks like as you can see it's very fast because i didn't increase the number of frames and then the quality of the animation is not that beautiful but at least you already see how it looks like the the movement of the camera okay so this is an avi file okay you can always modify your walkthrough change the total number of frames and then the rendering settings so that you'll be able to see a beautiful walkthrough okay so that's it for this video it's not that difficult if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so once again thank you for watching guys have a nice day See you.